All right, guys, it is the end of the day. And I want to show you guys my skin. I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. Um, my skin has not been trying to get oily like at all. Ever since I stopped using the oil mix, and my skin has not been getting oily, guys. Um, if it's ever oily, it's like really subtle, but really even that. So today is another exfoliation day, so I'm gonna wash my face. Not only that, but it's been three months since I've been locked. I just want to show you a quick look of the I'm probably going to turn the camera so you can see the back of my head. Really? I don't even need to do that. I can just, yeah. Show the back of my head. Now, I usually retwist um, every for a week but right now I don't feel like my hair is ready for a retwist only because um like I have new growth in some places but some places it isn't that much new growth and I don't want to put strain on my roots so I'm gonna give it about another couple of weeks and see what happens and if not then I'll retwist at my fourth month but we'll see so let me just go ahead and wash my face and exfoliate and then I'll tell you I just go on there all right, guys, so I finished washing my face. So let me show you my skin real quick. Um, and it's exfoliation day. Mm -hmm. Still got a little bit of exfoliant. Oh, Lord. I'm going to say right now, that exfoliant is by far my favorite. The St. Ives energizing coffee and coconut scrub oh my gosh like it's by far my favorite scrub ever like when i seen the coffee on there like i just knew it was meant to be mine because oh my gosh like i said i remember um scrubbing my face with soldier's coffee and i was just like oh my gosh and i totally forgot about it until i seen that in the store but like i tried the um say eyes um apricot scrub Skin didn't get along with that. I think that one had the um, salicylic acid in it, and my skin does not get along with salicylic acid. Um, it's way too harsh on my skin, like super harsh. Like my skin just cannot take it. I'm, I'm not really saying I'm sensitive, but um, it's definitely sensitive to that salicylic acid. It's too strong for me. Um, it tends to burn. Um, and then they also had a scrub. A, I think it was like a charcoal one. It didn't really work for me either. And then, um, like it, it exfoliated, but I didn't feel like it did much for me. But then um, they also had like a grapefruit one. And I already knew not to try that because my skin does not get along with anything dealing with citrus. I don't know why, but if it got citrus in it, like my skin does not get along with it. And I explained that soap that I got in there because well, I had got it from like the dollar store, and um, I'm getting off subject, but there's a soap in here I got from the dollar store. This one, and it's a little bit citrusy, and my skin did not like it. Like I broke out on both of my shoulders. Same thing with my face. Like um, that's why I don't use Clean and Clear too much because most of their line is citrus, and my skin just does not get along with it. Like, it literally makes me red. Like, it gets me all red and inflamed, and I just don't like that. So, um, yes, that scrub is my favorite by far. Like, my skin looks so gorgeous. But that's it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.